Whew. What's up guys, welcome back. I shot this video over a couple months probably uh, in between doing other stuff and well, you know me, being lazy. So we have the engine mounted in the car. I'll show you that process later on in this video. After I got the engine put in, I realized I needed a different steering rack. So I bought these uh, hooker motor mounts. I'll put the part number to these hooker motor mounts down in the description. The way that it reads, the way the description reads is that you can use these motor mounts with the V6 factory K member, which is then compatible with mid and long tube headers. I believe it said long tube. It might just be the mid tube if you use an LS1 steering rack. So I thought I would be okay since I wasn't gonna use headers and I'm just using the factory manifolds. I thought that I was gonna be okay using the V6 F41 steering rack that came on this car. That turned out not to be the case, so I had to purchase, I think I purchased the FE4, I believe. I'll correct that again in the description. I'll have to go back and double check my order. Anyway, that rack came in and is installed. Now, if you use the F41 rack that comes with the V6, when you move the alternator to the lower alternator mount, the rack, the steering gear, doesn't allow the alternator to fit there, and that steering knuckle rubs on the exhaust manifold. So you have to do an LS1 steering rack, or you're gonna run into problems. guys there you have it engines installed in the car I have no idea where this video started and where it ended up I just have to take the L on this one get this video in the can post it for you guys and I'm gonna move on to another video this thing's drug out time is passed anyway I apologize guys this video sucks chalk it up to an L Hopefully the next one will be better. I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, those of you that made it to the end, troopers, 
Uh, thanks for watching again. Peace, and I'm out.